A prominent figure and groundbreaker on the Supreme Court has died. The court announced the passing of Sandra Day O'Connor this morning. KCBD News 1011's Joshua Mara spoke to a local judge about what led this trailblazer to be the first woman on the nation's highest court and the legacy she leaves behind for other women like her on the bench. She was just an amazing person. From a cattle ranch in Arizona to the U.S. Supreme Court, Sandra Day O'Connor carved a trail in the history books. Her life was just so interesting. A life studied by Drew Farmer, who was a judge in Lubbock County and now a senior judge in the state of Texas. Farmer says the work ethic O'Connor learned on the family ranch eventually led her to enroll at Stanford University. Started college at age 16 and faced many, many barriers in the legal community as a, as a woman and um, just really opened the doors for women as individuals, not just because of gender, but because of her brilliant intellect. In the 60s, she won a Senate race in Arizona. Nearly two decades later, she was the first woman appointed to the Supreme Court. Ronald Reagan chose her and the Senate agreed unanimously. The appointment paved the way for all American women through shards of the glass ceiling O'Connor helped break. She had such a perseverance uh, to continue no matter what the obstacle was, she would, would uh, accomplish her goals and so I admired that very much of her, about her. O'Connor fought for women's rights throughout her tenure on the Supreme Court. She co-authored opinions in landmark cases like Planned Parenthood v. Casey, which upheld abortion rights established in Roe v. Wade. Well, she just uh, was an amazing writer and uh, authored so many wonderful opinions. She was appointed in 1981 uh, and she um, was on the court for 24 years. O'Connor announced her retirement in 2005 and was replaced by Justice Samuel Alito the following year. She grew her legal career in, the, in a man's world. Uh, and women uh, need to be recognized for their own individuality, uh, for their own strengths, uh, and their own passions. And I think she embodied that. O'Connor died due to complications with dementia. She was 93 years old. Joshua Ramirez, KCBD News Channel 11.